Where is it? Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, I'm pressing it. Welcome to Brashov. That's how I say it, right? Yeah. Brashov. We've just arrived tonight and we are here for the weekend. It's a really nice place. Found this on booking.com and we've got like a whole apartment. I'm just strolling through it now. Look at the size of this place, it's insane. This is the kitchen. <laughs> that was our bedroom. This now is the lobby and mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the bathroom. Yeah, so we just we have this one room in the overall apartment for 20 euros a night, which is pretty good. It's an old like I don't know what you'd call it. Retro gothic apartment in Brashov. But what is there to do in Brashov? Brashov. Brashov, Brashov, Brashov. What is there to do in Brashov? Actually, I have no idea. Olivia has organized all of this. It's like a surprise, so she knows what's going on. Where are we going now? It's a surprise. <laughs> I'm not you. You're just gonna get on the bus. That's it, and you'll see when you arrive. Okay. We're on the bus on the way somewhere now. Where are we going? Somewhere. Somewhere. Check it out. This is our itinerary. <laughs> so, I'm not reading it, but no, there it is. Old school. <laughs> so can you tell me where we are now? Yes, now I can tell you where we are. We are at the Bran Castle. Dracula's castle. Dracula's castle? So welcome to the border between Transylvania and Wallachia. So we've just arrived to Bran Castle or Dracula's Castle in Transylvania and vampires and Dracula is probably the most famous thing about Romania. If you mention Romania to people they're probably going to tell you about vampires, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah, finally getting the chance to explore here. It was meant to be a surprise but sort of figured out halfway through when all the signs were directing to Bran Castle. I'm going to go explore now. So fun fact. This is famous for being Dracula's castle, but Bram Stoker, the author who wrote Dracula, never actually came to Romania. It's just that this castle fits the description of the castle from that book so well, and that's why people call it Dracula's castle. So when was the last time you were here? Some years ago, and it didn't look like that. Mm. So now it's all been redone. And it looks much more different. It's much nicer. Five years? Ten years? Fifteen? No, probably four, five. Yeah. So people often say that the myth of Dracula was based on a real ruler that lived here. And I'm just kind of regurgitating what I'm learning today, by the way. But the real ruler was Vlad the Impaler, who had a reputation for impaling. That's how he liked to kill people and apparently lived in this castle. And that's where the legend of Dracula might have come from. But there's also another reason that people believed in vampires here. The people in the local villages from around here traditionally also believed in an evil spirit called a Strigoi, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And 
They have a similar story to vampires. They were normal during the day and then turned evil during the night. And the way to kill Estragoy was to do a ceremony around the grave and drive a stake through its heart. So I think that's where a lot of the myth about vampires comes from. Also, incidentally, that's one of the main reasons there is a lot of garlic in Romanian cuisine because garlic is believed to ward off Strigoi or ward off vampires and that's why people eat garlic here. We are now about to leave Brand's castle or Dracula's castle and head on to the next place which I still have no idea where we're going. So where are we going next? I won't, I can't tell you that. <laughs> okay. You see? But first, I'm gonna get a Romanian sandwich. Yeah, if you get to Romania, you have to know we have a lot of meat. What's nice. this? Romanian sausage sandwich. Can't go wrong. <laughs> So, where are we going now? So, this is the fortress Rishnov. Rishnov. So, this is now Rishnov Citadel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This is our second stop of today. And it looks really nice. What do you know about Rashnov Citadel? It was built as a fortress to defend um, the neighboring villages okay. during invasions. And it was built in 1421. Really? No, yeah. <laughs> Is that a guess? No, I remember. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Romanian tour guides come to Olivia. Yeah. the new series has just come out so that's what I'm thinking about right now. My name is Jord of the House Simons, Warden of the Jords, true heir to Rashnov Citadel. This is my maiden. Okay, so we're in a traditional Romanian restaurant with, of course, very cheap draft beer. So this is all traditional Romanian food, right? Lots of different types of meat, as far as I can tell. I'm going to try and pick this up right now. There you go, look at that. Lots of meat, cheese, pickles, it smells amazing, and going to get tucked in. That's a starter. <laughs> a single person starter, plus that. Roasted peppers. This whole thing is four euros, and it's giant, and it's just a starter. And this is Somale, right? Somale? Samale. Samale. Which is like another traditional Romanian thing. Okay, let's do this. This is it. A cabbage wrap. Oh no! <laughs> ah. Okay, it might not look good, but it is really good. <laughs> good. Bine. Mm. Bine. Super. <laughs> a good finish to a great day. A hat trick of surprises from you. Mm. Yeah. A real Romanian day. <laughs> I'm gonna finish it there, but it was great. All these things you can do around Brashov. 
and I'm gonna say goodbye now because I am really sleepy after all that food. So I'll finish right now and just say again, thank you for watching. And this is my life. Check it out in Brashov, they even have an egg vending machine for one euro for ten. What?